Hi, welcome to Project Geospatial. I'm Adam Simmons, and we're here at GeoN 2023 in St. Louis, Missouri. And here with us is, uh, well, Gabe Dominocello. You said it right. Thank you. Finally, <laughs> awesome. Uh, you are co-founder of Umbra Space, and right. you are an amazing U.S.-based SAR company. And uh, we've talked to Joe Morrison last year, and uh, you, you are known for an amazing business plan that's we're literally rattling the face of the SAR industry right now. And so before we dive into all that from a premise standpoint, mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about yourself and how you got into this industry, maybe how you started Umbra? Uh, well, I mean. Loaded questions. I no, I mean, it's, I, I'm not a space guy. Yeah. I never was. Um, my my co-founder, my very good friend, uh, came up with this idea years ago, and he's like maybe the smartest person. He's always the smartest guy in the room. He's a very, very intelligent guy. Um, and if you're going to start a business, you should probably start it with the smartest person you know. And he opened up my world to this industry, which I've now fallen in love with. But I opened up his world to like kind of the rest of commerce, so to speak, which is like it may work for the space industry right now, but can the space industry evolve? And that's what our, our premise is, which I think we've been hinting at. Excellent. Uh, so you label yourself more as a finance guy? Dude, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a guy. I'm just, just a guy. I, I don't have a, well, I'm not, I'm not a finance, I'm not anything special. I am, I am the, I am a guy on the street who looks at problems and says, you know, could we solve these problems in a different way? Yeah. Well, that uh, gets us into Umbra Space. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, talk to me about the business plan, uh, what you're striving to do. It's not just simply a SAR constellation. It's literally how you're executing and delivering to your customers, right? Well, the, the entire premise of the company is to deliver products in the way that humans are used to receiving products. Yes. So we're often criticized for selling data over the internet, which is, to me does not seem like that crazy of an idea. Um, but in the traditional model, you have like, a guy who goes with another BD guy and they have a nice steak dinner and then they negotiate prices and NDAs and all these things and that you can literally buy anything on the internet. Yeah. I don't understand why you can't buy satellite data until now, which you can. So what does that get into in terms of some of the nuances that you've seen in terms of the, you know, um, the barriers you're trying to break with the industry, right? Traditionally, mm -hmm. whether that be licensing or how you obtain, you know, wh wh why, uh, what did you see the industry like before you're trying to solve this problem? You said accessibility. Why can't everybody buy, buy, buy images? Well, it's, we, you, we, when we started eight years ago, it's a long time we've yeah. been doing this, um, we talked to customers, and all the customer complaints were exactly the same. It is, the, the data is, I sell it, I can't show it to my mom. So it's like, okay, well, why don't we just do a permissive Creative Commons license? Um, it's like, I can't get the data. It's always negotiated. It's very, very difficult to acquire. It's like, okay, well, why don't we just provide the data easily through an online platform? Um, and then pricing. So pricing was uh, a huge issue. Satellite data is extremely expensive. And SAR especially. SAR was extremely expensive. Um, it's funny, six years ago, I did an interview. It was our first interview. Um, with Space News, and I said, we are going to charge less or the same as optical. And everyone's like, startups gonna charge the same as optical. And now I think we charge considerably less. And the reason for that is our systems capability. So we took all those problems and we said, how can we design a satellite that solves all those problems while you know we can make money? Because making money is what this is all about. Yeah. So uh, in terms of getting new customers on board with your, not just platform, but your constellation, uh, can you talk to me about some of those incentives? You mentioned the Creative Commons licensing. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, how does that apply towards commercialization of that? Um, do you have sample data available? How does sure. that work? So my premise has been get data into the hands of users. Yes. So we have a massive sample data set that is refreshed, I think, every day. So. Right now, it was 10, we're expanding it. It was 10 targets uh, imaged every single day. We wanna make sure that people can look at a time series, understand it. It's free, it's Creative Commons. 
We want people to be familiar with the data. Data of this quality has not been uh, widely accessible um, in the past um, from the spacecraft, only from an airplane. Wow. Okay. So, uh, and uh, talk to me about your your constellation as it exists today. But when we were talking with you uh, last year, it was a lot different. You've mm -hmm. had a couple launches and successes. Got a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like launching, like I was talking to somebody, I was talking to an investor over the weekend. He's like, so you got like two satellites now. It's like, it's like six. Yeah. And so we have six up. We have two more, I don't know, in Q4. But I'll tell you that I don't know that I can say the exact date. Um, That's fine. Because of our agreement with SpaceX. And then another one, in, another two in Q1. Um, but we are, we're not the but, company that's like, we're going to launch 100 satellites. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm a guy on the street. Asset depreciation is something that like, makes me very nervous. So we are not going to launch satellites unless they make money, period. That makes sense. So yeah, it, uh, six up right now, and that mm -hmm. promotes how, wh what, what are you capable of in terms of, you mentioned daily revisit right, right now. Mm -hmm. Does that apply global tar targets? We can or see any point on Earth twice daily per satellite. Okay. And we are talking still half meter resolution for SAR? We can go lower. down to quarter meter is what we're publicly giving out. We can go okay. down to 16. Incredible. And 16 is pretty cool. It is. <laughs> no, I don't, I can't, can't beat it. I, I, my mouth is dropping. I have a hard time talking about it because it's like, it is incredible imagery. Yeah. Highly, uh, highly recommend people well, check I mean, it out. Well, yeah, we put it, I mean, we put a lot of stuff on Twitter. It's kind of ramshackle how we do it. It's like, just put it out there. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand SAR. So depending on the uh, incidence angle, uh, it's going to look different, but it, it looks very good. So no talk to me about the it. sentiment or the reaction by the, the community, the t typical traditional community, either government or other industries who are interested in buying your, your imagery. Uh, what's, the, what's the reaction by them? What's the uh, engagement look like? You know, um, uh, did you, were, were they kind of non-believers at first or did they jump right in like, and, and you've turned them over towards uh, being your evangelist, right? Well, I think that that's... So it's an interesting question because I think that people still don't believe us. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how much I give it away or put it out on the internet, um, it's, uh, I, d I mean, it's, it's everyone, the people who are adopting are adopting in full force. Yeah. So I look at the market like it's a supply demand equilibrium curve, right? So if you are a purchaser of satellite data, and you are an early adopter of the data, because we charge so much less. So our pricing is on the website, it's, it's transparent, it's not change. Um, you're getting data for significantly less than your competitors as an analytics company. We also do not do analytics, so we're not competing with our customers. So if you are an adopter of our data, you are intrinsically getting a better product for less money. And if you do not buy it, you'll be buying a more expensive product that is worse. And I don't know how long that lasts. Okay. If you're a business, I mean, I don't know, would you buy gold for 10 times the price? It's a, at the end of the day, data is a commodity. Yes. Or at least it should be. Mm -hmm. And what I'm trying to do is commoditize it as quickly as possible. So how's that, uh, how do you see the industry today reacting towards what you're doing? Well, I think the providers don't like it, but um, the customers seem to like it. I mean, do you want better things for less money? Yeah. Okay. So you have a number of new partnerships and contracts, Tons. right? It's been, yeah. it's been great. Oh, uh, man. Over the last couple of months, especially. Well, I mean, the big one, of course, is Maxar. Yes. Which everyone knows. Um, Maxar's, like, I don't know. When, when some people are growing up, like they want to be a firefighter or a doctor or, or whatever, uh, when I was growing up, I wanted to do a deal with a multi billion dollar conglomerate. So. <laughs> So my, my dreams have come true. So Max are, and then of course you have the regular analytics guys. We're partnered with almost all of them. Um, yeah, I, I love our partners. And it, we have such a frictionless relationship. So knowing that we do not do analytics mm -hmm. allows them to trust us in a way that they cannot trust some other providers. Yeah. Where it's like, I don't care what you're looking at. Just give me the 500 bucks for a picture. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to take advantage of their business model down the road and I don't recreate who, it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care who they're picked, I don't care who they're selling. Well, I mean, hold on. I care who they're selling the data to, so long as it is an allied, you know, a, yeah. allied with the United States because we are an American company. Uh, 
the government is our strongest ally and our biggest and best partner. Um, so like, as long as you're not going to do anything that would piss off the US government, um, I don't care who you sell it to. So what's ahead for the company? Yeah, you know, you've, you've had a lot of successes. You've checked a lot of milestones along the way. You got this new imagery out there with uh, incredible licensing capabilities and mm -hmm. incredible pricing. Uh, what's, uh, what are your next steps? Is to build. Is to build. So, I mean, the, and not build satellites, to be clear. Like, we're, I've seen in this industry, and, I th and I'm going to blame the VCs, that you have, in software, if you build a product that is successful, then it says, okay, iterate on that product, um, advertise that product, and expand it. So what they took that model and applied it to hardware. And they're like, okay, great, reprint this satellite 100 times. So let's say you're getting a couple images over a high demand area, call it Texas, where I live, because everyone wants to see my house. So you see my house in Texas, and let's say you're getting 10 images. And the VCs go, well, if we launch 100 satellites, then we'll get so many more images, and then that revenue will scale. Yeah. But what they did not realize, and what we were able to observe, is that you don't sell pictures of stuff. You sell pictures of high demand areas. And um, the asset depreciation becomes such that over that high demand area, you can't make money if you scale your constellation too large. So we are looking at it a very different way, which is rather than launch one satellite that, let's say, takes two pictures over Texas, we'll launch one satellite, like the ones that we have in space, that can take 20 or 30 pictures over Texas. And the way that we're iterating is a new version of the satellite. So it is like, rather than launching 10, we're just going to launch one that is 10 times better. And we're gonna to continue to do that. Okay. Like we're continually going to compete with ourselves. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, I appreciate you for joining us for this discussion. Any last minute words that you'd like to get out to our audience about who uh, Umbra Space is and what you provide to the community? Um, look, we're, we're a, a highly customer driven company. We're a highly logical company. Um, we we want to make sure that our customers do well. So if you if you work with us, we will work for you. We'll make sure that you're successful if you use our data. Um, but thanks for having me on. I, I love all oh, the you. Work. Always a pleasure, Gabe. <laughs> uh, this is Adam Simmons of Project Geospatial here at the Geoint 2023 Symposium here in St. Louis, Missouri. We'll talk to everybody next time.